Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Corrosion Standards Academy. Today we are going to learn about the corrosion and its types. Firstly, corrosion is defined as the deterioration of a material as a result of chemical reactions between the materials and the surrounding environment. As it impacts our society on a daily basis like automobiles, constructions, oil and gas pipelines, etc. Some facts about the corrosion. Uh, if you take any domain like welding, non-destructive testing, corrosion, each of these domains have a head technical authority that is called its respective association. For corrosion, we have National Association of Corrosion Engineers that is called NACE. They have conducted a study in 2016 in the name of IMPACT which stands for International Measures of Prevention, Application and Economics of Corrosion Technology and they have concluded that corrosion incurs a global cost of 2.5 trillion dollars that is roughly 3.4% of the global GDP is washed away just by corrosion. These are the types of the corrosion. We have atmospheric corrosion, erosion corrosion, de-alloying or selective leaching, pitting corrosion, fretting corrosion, stress corrosion and intergranular corrosion. Now let's learn one by one in detail. Firstly, atmospheric corrosion. Atmospheric corrosion is a type of wet corrosion caused by the action of electrolytes. In this case, moisture present in the atmosphere and the rainwater acts as electrolyte which triggers the corrosion of the exposed metal surface. Erosion corrosion. It is defined as the accelerated deterioration of a metal that results from the relative movement between a corrosive liquid and the metal surface. As the fluid flows in high velocity, the metal's passive oxide layer may be removed or dissolved, leaving the alloy susceptible to damage. During this process, the metal may be removed in the form of dissolved ions or as a corrosion product that are mechanically swept from the metal surface due to the force of a flowing fluid. De alloying or selective leaching. Selective corrosion occurs in alloys where one of the component metals is de alloying from the corrosive environment. This type of corrosion can be seen in brass alloy pipes where zinc commonly used as another component. Here a zinc is a de alloyed. Coming to the pitting corrosion. Pitting results when a small hole or cavity forms in the metal, usually as a result of depassivation of a small area. This area becomes anodic while the part of the remaining metal becomes cathodic producing a localized galvanic reaction. Pitting corrosion occurs when the protective oxide layer of the surface gets damaged. It is considered more dangerous because it causes the failure of the structure with a relatively low overall loss of the material. It can be observed in steel, aluminium and nickel alloys. Coming to the fretting corrosion. Fretting corrosion occurs at this contact area of the two materials which are joined together. This is developed when the contact area is subjected to slips and vibrations. This type of corrosion can be seen in bolted and riveted joint clamps as you see in this picture. Coming to the stress corrosion. Stress corrosion caused by the combined action of corrosive environment and the mechanical stress on the surface of the material. In its initial stage, small cracks are developed and these finally leads to failure of the whole structure. These type of corrosion can be seen in stainless steel when they are stressed in chloride environments. Coming to the intergranular corrosion. Intergranular corrosion is a corrosion occurs along the grain boundaries and the grains are it is caused when there is a noticeable difference in the reactivity against impurities exist between grain boundaries and grains. This difference in reactivity occurs due to defective welding and treatment of stainless steels. From today's video, I would like to ask question at the end of every video and I will be posting the answers in my next video. Okay, today in this video we have learned about uh, different types of corrosion. Now let me ask you, if you are making a product in a material, how will you prove your customer that your product is resistant to this corrosion? If you have any suggestions on any specific topic and you have any doubts in this video, you can write in the comment box, follow our Instagram page and LinkedIn page. And finally, thank you for watching.